you. Okay, mate, this is the last one. Bring it home. Come on. <laughs> oh, dear. 3.4 kilometres for Shane Van Gisbergen. And tantalisingly close to his first V8 supercar victory. Nothing left in the tank in his car, but everything left in the tank in the driver. The poker boys, Ross and Jimmy Stone, continue to hold them. They're not going to fold them. Lee Holdsworth just cannot get around Shane Van Gisbergen. So just to emphasise, Mark Larkin made the point earlier about the good fuel consumption figures locked the rear brake into turn two. And then, obviously, good cons conservation during the safety car phase and phases of the race. Now half a lap to go for the young Kiwi. You have to go back two years to find Stone Brothers Racing's last victory at Queensland Raceway. James Courtney was behind the wheel on that day. The crowd here are going berserk. 166,000 people have witnessed the Sydney Telstra 500 this weekend. Oh. Turn nine, Stephen Richards will go around. They played their card, they gambled, Stephen, and it did make the distance. Just what you need. Of course it was going to finish this way. More drama, Lee Holdsworth claims his first race win in three years. You'd hope for Shane he gets home. Stephen Richards second in his last drive for FPR. Oh, oh my God, buddy, well done, mate. Oh, oh, my God. Awesome. He just got there. He got there. He just got there. <laughs> but in terms of the championship pitcher, James Courtney, a man who has won championships around the world. He's won the British Formula 4 championship. He's won the Japanese F3 championship. This is a home ground win. Thank you, guys. Well done, James Courtney. A new V8 supercar champion is crowned here at Sydney Olympic Park. Well, what a nail biter. A fight literally to the last lap of the 26th race of the 2010 championship season. Kept us guessing all the way. A seesaw brawl. Oh. You've got to feel for this guy. He gave it his all. They played a strategy percentage game. He got home in 30, he'll be on the podium for his trouble, but it wasn't the critical win that he was looking for.